All right, guys, so my hopper agitator arrived yesterday, so I got it installed today. And this is a DC um, agitator I got on Amazon. And uh, it's actually pretty incredible. Um, I think this is gonna do the job of uh, keeping our fuel flows, um, but it could uh, create a new problem with grate packing. So I'm uh, trying to run this uh, a bit reserved, um, just enough to uh, you know break the the fuel up before it bridges, um, just in time, and then uh, hopefully it won't um, um, pack the grate. All right, so this runs on a on a timer, and what's cool about this is it comes with this uh, a speed control, so you can uh, uh, control how aggressive it is when it when it's on, and then inside of here there is a a simple timer board that runs on DC, and that's uh, right now I have it set to be off for for ten minutes, and then it kicks on for twenty seconds. And then it'll just keep repeating that over and over until, until you take the power away. So I got that fixed. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to fix the, the plug from coming out. I did test the cord and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not shorted. So I just uh, slapped some uh, electrical tape on it. And then I addressed the ammo box. So this is going to be the new way we do this. Um, basically I, uh, instead of doing a screen, we're just going to do, uh, expanded metal here and we're going to press that in there and weld it. So that will solve that breaching issue for good. So we will be putting that to bed. And then, uh, I did find a, a source where I was getting all that. I don't know. If it was the last video I did. I had a bunch of crud in uh, the curb. And yeah, there was a bunch of buildup in this um, pipe arrangement. Plus, what? Plus, there was a buildup inside of there that I didn't clean out last time. I was in a, kind of in a hurry, so I went ahead and uh, cleaned that all out. So we shouldn't be getting any any more crud. But the good news is, is it wasn't tar. It was just soot and and a mixture of dust from basically from the the hay filter. Um, nothing that's gonna harm the engine. All right, guys. So. We are ready to retest, and I am going to retest on 100% wood chips. So we will see you outside. All right, guys. So we're ready to start this thing up. I got my screen wood chips here, so they're good and clean. And basically, it's filled um, just above the the hearth, so roughly about. About right there. Well, all right, so we'll, we won't be using the water drip because we're running uh, pure wood. So we'll be running the secondary jets. I <laughs> did a little cable management, make sure I don't have uh, that issue again where I dropped the, the hose on the hot coupling there. Ammo box was filled with hay. And it is all cleaned out. And generator has gas in it this time. Um, I'm going to try to start do a hybrid startup where I started on gasoline. Um, as you can see, the, the valve is off, so I ran it out of fuel prior to startup. But I am going to open that back up just to let some gas in the float bowl just to get it started briefly. And then we'll, we'll uh, switch over to uh, wood gas to make it a little easier on the starter. Here we go. was open.
guess I just look gas it. Didn't even want to start on gasoline. Yeah, it seemed to take forever to run out of, out of gas there. But as you can see, I got the I got the timer control plugged in to our AC. I got a little 12 volt power supply. Um, you can actually plug that into your generator. I mean, that doesn't have to be on unless the, unless the engine's running anyways. So um, that actually might work well. All right, so I'm gonna get a time and uh, put a slight load on it and see what kind of run time we get. So we'll come back periodically. We'll see you in a few. All right, guys, it's been just over an hour into the run. So it's been running pretty stable. I've had to come out a couple times and uh, adjust the air fuel mix mixture. I had to uh, make it a little richer. But that's just the nature of the beast. It's just the way what gas is. It's, there's no such thing as set it and forget it. Um, you need a, uh, an automatic uh, AFR mixer controller to uh, to automatically mix uh, your air fuel mixture. Otherwise, otherwise you may have to make adjustments. It's not all the time. But while we're here, I'm gonna open the hopper just because I've had a couple questions about uh, refueling on the fly. But when you open that hopper lid, you're allowing a massive amount of air into the reactor. And that's going to change the gas energy density. So your engine can stall out. But if you're quick, you can you can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. We'll take a look inside. Woo! You can hear the engine changing. So it will, it will take a minute to reestablish the air doesn't have to uh, readjust. It could actually still stop. I think we're good though. Now it's coming back up. So I think all is good. So I've been running a, a steady thousand watt load, plus I ran the coffee pot, and that kicked it up to about uh, 1700 watts. And it, it did that okay. So we could probably uh, sustain charging it at, at uh, 1500, 1700 watts. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna run this hopper out and then uh, we'll uh, check the filter, see if it's in any car. Um, I am gonna let the generator cool without a gasoline run. If the car's up, the car's up. If not, then uh, we're, we're all golden. But uh, if it does car up, then it gives me an excuse to do a video to show you how, show you how to uh, fix that. All right, guys, so we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're an hour and 40 minutes into the run. So it's getting to a point where it's not quite as stable as it was. So I think we're, we're coming to the end of the hopper. <clears throat> what you see in there is our, um, the, um, the charger and the inverter is kicking on and off. It's not making enough power, so the inverter is uh, kicking off. Applying the load. So it's, it's pretty much done, I think. So, an hour and a half, hour and 40 minute run time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut the generator down. Shut our secondaries off. Oh, 
out. So let's see what this guy looks like. So this hay was freshly installed before the run. And usually if it's dropping anything, it's right where it's pulling out. Okay, so this right here is right where that screen was. Okay. So that's pretty clean. And now another thing I like to check is just to see how dry the, the inlet is at the engine. So this is where tar likes to drop is when there's a high pressure. Yeah, that's just soot. So that'll probably wash off. All right, so I'm not worried about tar, so I'm going to let that cool. And uh, we'll uh, come back in a few minutes. It doesn't take long. I mean, if, if there was tar, it would probably already be a problem. Um, I didn't hear any valve... Um, valve noise um yeah if you have a uh engine lobing or anything when you're doing a wood gas run listen to your engine and listen for your, any valve noise um that's a good indicator that you're that you've made tar and the valve is uh slowing down it's not quite it's not closing all the way before it's uh before the push rod is trying to open it back up again so you get a clacking noise We'll take a look in here. The vibrator's still on, so maybe that'll go off. So you guys can witness that. Yeah, can't really see down in there. I guess we'll have to come back. But it, it looks like it still had some in there. Anyways, uh, we're going to let that cool down 15 minutes or so, and then uh, we'll come and try to start it up on gasoline but i think this run uh, has been successful i have i've had to do zero intervention as far as poking the the reactor down i didn't have any bridging with the uh, with the uh, the vibrator so i think that has solved our issues um and to be honest i don't think it made tar the last time i think it was the the breach in the filter that caused the issue i think it sucked in a bunch of filter media and that that was what was causing the valve to to clatter so um yeah i think this machine's a winner so yeah with well, this weekend we'll be hopefully we'll be running our production version of of this machine all right so we'll see you guys here in a few all right guys so it's been a good 20 minutes now i'm I went in, ate dinner. Let's take a look inside the hopper here. I want to see what the hopper level looks like. It's still a bit smoky. So it did have a little bit, but you can see it's uh, where it's petted out there. That's right, right at the jet level. So it could have went a little bit longer if I wanted to go in there and stir it. All right, so this guy. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is pull this thing over. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> so yeah, this thing had tar in it, and it probably wouldn't have done that. 
unless the valve is pushed all the way in, but then it would make uh, make some bad noise. <laughs> all right, here we go. successful 100% wood chip run. Alright guys, so uh, next video we'll be running the production version. Actually, actually I'm going to do a, an unboxing uh, assembly video first. And then uh, we'll be putting that one through through the paces. Sorry, I got the hiccups from, uh, from, from uh, dinner. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Alright guys, so we'll see you in the next one.